because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Um, okay, folks, we're going to take a look at what we were watching last night when I sent the video out. We were focusing on three trades. One was the S&P, excuse me, the Dow Jones. Uh, we did not want to do the S&P or the NASDAQ because we thought those were a little too volatile. And it turned out those would have worked pretty well, but the Dow Jones did not. Here's what we were looking at. We were looking at a very, very, very bullish chart. In gold. Now, this is the four hour, and as you can see here, we were looking for a minimum of 2456, which was the old high. I'll show you that in just a second. But part of the reason for the bullishness was this last little pullback that we had here on the 14th, a week ago. That was when we were doing our live thing uh, for the live trading, and that also measured up here to this level of 2463. Now, if you go to the daily chart, you're going to see something because there's what we were looking at last night. See, there was the old high way back on uh, May the 21st, okay? Now, what we've done now is we've cleaned all that out, and it certainly looked like it was going to do that easily, and that's what we thought would happen. Now, we've had a big run up in this area. We've taken it out by quite a bit. Uh, as you can see, this is the area where it exploded from, and then once we got above here, it was clean sailing, you know, all the way. So that's really what we're watching. Here was today's low. There was yesterday's low. And also, all you have to do is remember three little letters, and you're going to be just fine in this business. And that is look for those letters of 0 0.382. And we came within a half a dollar of the exact low here. The low was at uh, 33, and this came in at 32.7. And then we had another one right here. You see that list, last little one right here? This was when, when the market was just opening. We had a little $10 pullback, and all the market did, of course, is rally up and go exactly to the 382 again. I keep a little card in here from our good friend Billy V over there. In, oh, dear, I'm not going to be able to find it in a hurry, but I have it here somewhere. Where is it? <laughs> I, it's worth seeing because it's, it's rather, uh, well, maybe you won't see it because I'm having a hard time finding and by golly I can't find it so what am I going to do I guess I'm not going to have to worry about it very much ah I found it I found it there it is right here keep this right there thank you Johnny always Johnny's always looking at those three A2s anyway it works really good in really strong trending markets and that's something that we want to look at the other one that we had that was very nice again looking at the old problem of the old three A2 hold on just a second here I got to get these clear is what we want to look at. Get the old 13 minute up here. This is what we were looking at this morning. Last night, I sent this video out as it was happening, as, as a matter of fact. You'll see there it is right there. Okay, now there was the action here on the 12th. Okay, all right. This is when we were doing our day trading there on Friday. Okay, now you can see this is the move that we had right here. Okay, where did it measure to? The low to measure to 80, 31, 1.618 expansion was 80, 28. That was a perfect A, B, C, D right on the money. So two of the three trades we were looking at today actually looked pretty good. But, you know, like you say in the uh, donut business, sometimes you have chocolate donuts and sometimes you have sparkle donuts. And today you had a donut that was sparkled and you had one that was chocolate and one that fell on the ground and you didn't get a chance to eat that one. Even using the five-minute rule, it wouldn't have worked. Okay, now let's move on to some people have asked me of what's happening with these stocks. Now, folks, remember, look, just to give you an example here, what's going on. It is a different market that we're looking at here today this is gold get it out of the way we know where the russell is it's on its way to nala, nala land whatever it is but look at the look what's happening here with the nasdaq which has been the leader of the pack okay now 
there was the action today. We rallied up early in the morning. We stopped exactly at the 61% retracement right there. And if you looked at it really closely, you'll see that it was none other than, guess what? An AB equal CD right there. And then the market broke down pretty hard, didn't it? Okay, now, when you make a new low like that, we have a rule, and that is you got to recalculate the 382. So I'm going to do it now. I haven't done it yet because I've been watching some other things. You'll see there was your low. Where did it go to? Exactly to the 382 right here. Now what we're looking at here is we've got a chance for a big double bottom down here at this level right here. The reason for that is, look at this. You've got double ABCDs. You've got ABCD, bada bing, bada boom. And you've got ABCD, bada bing, bada boom. Put it down right here. And you got another ABCD, bada bing, bada boom. This is going to be big support. And then oh, it went up upside down, folks, just a second. My bad. I want to blow it up a little bit better so we can see it. And that's what you're doing when you're watching these things intraday. And th that would be a three drive to a bottom pattern right there. And you'll see there's your ABCD coming down to this level uh, right here, which is 2040. Now, what we need to do, this is an eight minute. We need to go to at least a 13 minute to see if that's going to make new lows on the move. And, of course, it would. See, that would be new lows going back. Let's go back, 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 back. Oh, wow, we got another one here, too. Oh, no, that's the same one I was looking at. It was this larger one that's right there. That's actually the same the same move that we're looking at from there to there to there to there. So keep an eye on it. That's a, that's the number right here is 204. It's 80 points away, just a little bit below where we're looking at right now. We'll just draw it in so you'll be able to see it without too much trouble. There it is around 204. We'll call that 204, even making new lows by just a little bit. But uh, things are nice and rosy. In the stock market day, I hope it's the beginning of something big. But, folks, I wouldn't put a nickel on it if I had a nickel. And I have a nickel, but I'm not going to put it on it. I I don't buy breakouts. I have a rule. Before I buy a breakout, I write a check directly to the Chicago Mercantile Exchange to bypass any commission. Because I've looked at these and, folks, I based, my base, this whole thing was on this, and it hasn't violated. Look, it's, it's 150 points below the target that I want. It's these other ones that have gone nuts. So I have to stick with the program that I'm looking at, and this is telling me that we're ready to go down. I'm seeing it in the, all these, uh, you know, highfalutin stocks that have been going nuts. They're not going nuts anymore. It's all the it's all the dogs and ponies that are out there that is making the thing run. But hey, dogs and ponies can run a long time, so you don't want to you don't want to get in, don't want to get involved with it for sure. Okay. Now tomorrow we've got Norm Winsky is going to be our guest of Astro Trends, and on Friday we're going to have Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter, and I hope. On Thursday, we're going to have uh, Michael Moore of Moore Analytics. So that's what we're paying attention to. It's a my massive emotionalism uh, in the markets today. Uh, someone told me the uh, Democrats were covering and the uh, Republicans were buying, whatever that means. <laughs> that was a joke, folks. 877 Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education. Educating investors. 
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I want to uh, come over here and talk to you. I'm going to be here, so hang on just a second, folks. A little bit of hoarseness due to the uh, allergy that I have, so bear with me here. This is the soybean oil. This is the only one of the green complex that's actually looking halfway decent. Now, remember, we had that big move up, and we thought that it might get back to the 61% retracement, which we did yesterday, spot on. Now, we've rallied pretty substantial amount here folks if you did that trade that had had nine hundred dollars in it because that's how much it's rallied today the rest of them are hardly moving at all the ones that are most important remember soybean oil is only 20 percent of the soybean the other 80 percent is soybean meal which is basically feed and also tofu and a whole lot of other things but those are the main um, things behind it now the biggest crop of all here is the corn this is the weekly corn now, this is a long-term weekly chart, folks, and we are, as you can see here, almost, uh, well, we got below $4 here. We're still down on the week. If we look at this, we've had a little bit of a bounce, and when I mean little, I mean this is really little. You can see here we've been, we've been able to rise about five, four or five cents here off of the bottom. That's certainly not any indication of a bottom, but maybe it'll stop going down. That I don't know. But uh, the farmer, don't worry about the farmers, folks. They were hedging their crops up in here. The farmer that doesn't hedge his crop up here is a gambler. And, you know, sometimes he wins big, sometimes he doesn't. But most of them do this because when they hedge the crop, they get money from the government. You know, it's, uh, I forget what it's called. I don't know. I, I, I remembered, but right now I can't remember. So. I, a few of you have had that problem before. I'm sure you have. Here is a soybean meal. The same thing. Here is soybean meal on a small time scale. Now, this is only for what's happening today. Having a little bit of a rally here, but looking at this on the long-term daily picture, not much is happening. I think we're going to get just a little bit lower. Only $7 lower takes us down to this level here, which is the 1.618 expansion of the move from April to May. Now, Here's where here's where the pedal beats the metal, folks. Between right now and a month, five weeks from now, this is the main growing season for soybeans and the soybean meal and stuff. If there's going to be any trouble, it's got to happen in this five weeks right here. Because if it doesn't, they're going to come in with a huge crop and they're not going to be able – well, they have to give it away mostly at cheaper prices. But 
and we'll, we'll see what happens. But anyway, that's what's going on. My assumption here that we were going to have a pretty good rally here so far uh, has not uh, has not been uh, uh, proven correct. All right. So that's what uh, I want you to keep an eye on that. I haven't given any buy uh, recommendations in any of that, uh, of course, because of that. This is the no well, November soybean contract. You want to get up here now just to show you the difference. You see how soybean oil is going up? And you see here how soybean, uh, this is going down. This is a four-hour chart, still going down. I mean, it's just virtually nothing. This was a, you know, a small ABCD 3A2 last Friday. There it was, A. B, C, D, just absolutely spot on. And if you looked at it from the higher level, you'll see that that was spot on a 382 off of the old high, which was way back there, I believe. I think that's what it was. There it was right there. So anyway, that's what it was mainly the A, B, C, D that we were doing because it was a perfect A, B, C, D, A, B equals C, D. And there it was right there, right on the money, within a quarter of a cent of the actual high. All right, now we have to look at wheat because wheat is another one that has uh, really been uh, taken to the woodshed. And we're going to look at this on a daily basis first. You see we've made new lows from when Putin was uh, you know, doing his gaming thing. Look, we had the big ABCD right up there, bingo, bango, spot on. And then we'll be broken down below that. No no hope for wheat right now, except for this little pattern right here. And if you look at this on a four-hour chart, and we're going to do that right now, you'll see that we're getting pretty close, but no cigar. i got to get this out of the way so you can see it. Oh, it's gone far, far below where it ever should have. See how it broke below the, the 1.618 of that? When that happens, folks, there's not really much you can do about it because there's just so much. First of all, it's harvest time for the wheat, and there's another reason why it's uh, you know breaks through the old lows, goes past the 1.618. There's just a, a large amount of wheat, and they're selling it to you know protect themselves from from, from from losing even more. So that's what we're why we haven't had any buy recommendations uh, in the grains here for the last few days. Now let's take. Someone asked me to take a look at um, oh, Apple, of course. Just a second here with the Apple, and I'll get it right up. Um, I thought it. Well, so many things are up today. It's pretty hard for Apple to be down, but we'll take a look. Well, Apple is down a bit, but not very much. We look at this on the daily. This was one of the few of the MAGA stocks that did make new highs. None of those others did, folks. I went through them this morning, and they're all. You know, rolling over uh, to the downside a little bit. I didn't look at Tesla, and uh, let's take a look at Tesla because Mr. Musk, I heard, gave forty-five million dollars a month to the Trump campaign. I guess he doesn't have any uh, opinions on things. Hold on, just a second. Here's Tesla and see what it's doing today. It's actually, uh, it's actually down just a little bit, not very much at all. So you can't really say much is going on. Uh, with the Tesla and the other one that looks uh, always the NVIDIA. Let's take a quick look at that one. I looked at it earlier and uh, hold on just a second. And see, it's down also. See, so the, these all these big stocks that have been the leader of the pack are now in the backside of the uh, – of the uh, schoolhouse and the our, the AI guys are back there and now the new guys are the the uh, the old uh, brick and mortar for the uh, for the uh, Dow Jones and that's why everything's going up. It's like well, not everything's going up. The Russell's going up, and the uh, Dow Jones is going up, but not the Nasdaq and very little in the S and P, and very little in, none in the. Uh, uh, Boy, I'm losing my train of thought. Bear with me here, folks. The Dow Jones is up strong. The Russell is up strong. The NASDAQ is down. The S&P is basically up just a tiny bit. So three of the four are up, but the one that's been leading the pack has not is not leading anymore. So I want to keep that in mind. Okay, now I have one other stock that people ask me to look at, and that is that one that we got a tip on, which was um, JB. HT, which is uh, a, a um, this was a buy signal. Let's see if it's going to be working. Well, I got to look, put the daily out. Oh, just a minute. Do I have the wrong one in here? Probably do, don't I? 
nope, that's the right one. Let me get the daily up on this, and we'll see if we can get it up here. Oh, by golly, it is working. Son of a gun. That was a tip that actually worked. So it's uh, moving higher, and this is when we talked about it yesterday. It, well, it's up $10. That's a pretty good run here. That's a, folks, like the first time, I think, in 62 years that I ever that I ever got a tip that actually uh, that actually worked. I It was actually from one of our guests. I'm not going to tell you who it was, but one of one of our guest speakers that we have here said, buy this stock on uh, right there. Um, that was uh, that was Monday, and here it is right now. It's uh, going. It looks like there's good earnings coming in here pretty soon. So, anyway, uh, let's. Wow, I can't believe that one. Hey, let's take a break. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Keckstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Okay, folks, so this is the E-mini S&P on a four-minute chart. I use four minutes most of the time, especially for the S&P, because of my good friend Jimmy Twentyman said, the Earth rotates one degree every four minutes, so I figured one degree was good enough for me. There's no difference, really, between the four and five minute, really, or the three and the six. It, they're, they're the same, but that's just from being kind. Hold on a second. There's your first AP swing right here. And there's the one, you know, right before the open. There was the opening one. Okay, that means you have another A, B, C, D right here because there was your high right here. And then the market broke down and then rallied up, and that was this high right here. Now, there's a group of highs right here that's important. I, that's why I'm showing you this right now. Now, remember, this is two hours of trading. So this is what we tried to do on Friday. On, on a day like today, when you're seeing something like this, you see these patterns are complete, but you have one more pattern that is right here. That's the from there's your opening morning after the report. There's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg right here. It comes in to 57.11. The high was 57.14. So that you certainly would have made your your 10 points uh, very easily. Then the market comes up, rallies right here. Now that just looking at it on a short term basis. There's a perfect head and shoulders pattern. There's your head, there's your left shoulder, there's your right shoulder. You see how they're both equal? That that has to be that way if it's going to be out of the work of uh, Dr. Andrew Lowe. So that tells you if that's the case, is your and that would be, let's just double check if that was a 61% retracement. And sure enough, there it was right there. What does that tell us? It tells us that if there's going to be a low today, and no one knows that, you're going to see that we have an ABCD pattern coming down to this level right in here, which is 56.82, if it's going to get to that level. All right. Now, remember, we're expecting a potential low here at this here in the NASDAQ by the same basis by looking at those little things that we're expected to make a new low here. So I've got my limit in here. So I want to be watching the S&P while it's doing it at that time. That's just looking at on the shorter term basis, okay? All right. Uh, someone asked me a question. Is there any relationship to the fact that the grains were uh, going down uh, much like they were uh, during the, uh, um, the Great Depression? Folks, that was a totally different time frame. What I'm looking at is I'm comparing September of 1929 with what we have going on right now. But uh, remember, there was nothing going on in 1929 with the exception of television, radio, air conditioning, automobiles, uh, oil, and what. there was so much good stuff going on you just couldn't imagine. And the market went down for, you know, three years before, you know, it finally rallied. But that, you know, during the 70s, 70s and 80s, we had four and five year bear markets. That's the longest bear markets we've ever had have been four or five years. We've never had anything more than that, and we shouldn't because we live in a great country where things are darn good, especially compared when you look at something else out there. That's, that's the way I'm seeing it, so I hope that makes a lot of sense. But anyway, that's why I've got that looking at that point right here, and that's, that's what I'm trying to do is to just show you a few little tricks of the trades that sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but when they do – they work uh, relatively good. Now, here happens to be one I haven't looked at today. This is soybeans, and this was the uh, protect uh, potential for the uh, AI today. You can see where we're looking for a low to come in right here. Actually, what happened is if you just move the shift it over a little bit, you'll see there was your there was your low. Well, either one of those, you'll move it over. You see, put it over the last the actual low. Get it over right there. There would be your last low right in here, so you'd be expecting a high up in this area. There's your secondary high, so that tells you you've come down. And oh, we had a pretty good rally. Let's see how many cents did it rally. We rallied from, holy cow, 30 cents, 76 to 96, 20 cents. That's a 20-cent rally. Boy, that must be something. Let's just check it on the eight-minute chart to see if it was a 382. Uh, there it was right there, so let's move over and – See if it was a 382 off of the last big high we had back here. Oh, my goodness. You're not going to believe this one. Yes, Johnny, I see it. There it is right there. There's your 382 coming in at 9.5. And, and so far, that has been the one that stopped us. This has been the best rally we've had, folks. Uh, we you beat this rally from the 12th. So this may be starting to uh, you know, take a look at possibly there may be something 
to a rally going on. Boy, to say that it's uh, under a uh, cloud, there's your cloud. You can see how far this thing has come down. We've come down uh, almost two. Well, we've come down two dollars a bushel, ten thousand dollars, folks. There was a three eight two right here. There was a three eight two right there, and uh, I had an opinion, and my opinion was wrong. There's your first three eight two. Okay, the second three eight two came in. Ah, uh, shucks, hold on. Came in right here. It actually went to the 50%. Uh, difference was $0.08, cents, but it did go to 50%. And I think that led to this bottom that we're looking at possibly today. It sure is. There's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg. Actually, it came in uh, yesterday at 89 and it went another $0.17 cents lower. So this is hardly any any rally, folks. So I wouldn't get too, too excited as of yet. <laughs> The fact that it has a day up is a big surprise, but it's so oversold, it's bound to have some type of a rally. That's a, well, not necessarily, but that's what's happening right now. Okay, now let's move along here to, uh, oh, we need to look at the uh, uh, gasoline and also heating oil to see, hopefully we'll have Mike Moore uh, as our guest here on Thursday, and he'll help us with some of these things. But let's look at the gasoline contract to see if it's held up just like the uh, crude oil did. So gasoline, we'll do gasoline first. Here is the gasoline contract. We'll do the hourly, and we want to see if it's still, ah, it did the same thing. It made a nice low. Let's see if that low fit in with what we were looking for. There it is right there. Okay, there's your, there's your 382 right there, folks, from the high. Let's draw it in so you can see it. There's your high right here. Oh, that was a beautiful high. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. This is a perfect butterfly pattern, folks. Look at this one right there. There's your A, B, A, B, C, D. Right. Oh, darn it. Just a minute. It's a little too sensitive for my taste, but that's I can't do anything about it. It goes right up there. And then there's your 382 off of this low to that low. That tells us that we didn't make the A, B, C, D on this one. So this is acting a little more bullish. See, it missed it by a substantial amount. See, we came down here with the crude oil, but we did not in the gasoline. So if you're looking for one to buy, that would be the one. Watch watch that one because it's a stronger. And if we take a look at the heating oil, boy, I'm having a little trouble here, buddy. I think we've got a break here, don't we? No, we've got 30 seconds. So we'll get the heating oil up here, take a look at it, and we'll be right back and we'll be talking about the heating oil, folks. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. 
Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're going to take a quick look here at the heating oil, then we're going to switch over to the foreign exchange because that uh, really should have some movement here. You can see the ABCD pattern. There's your A, B, C, D, and then you see your price objectives comes right here at 460 you can see that's a pretty nice move but that's it there's the same thing looking at the previous day's action there's your a leg right here okay so you go to your highest level which is right there okay come down there's your high how close does it come uh misses it by uh see this high was 55 it misses it by half a point so that's still pretty close now let's switch over and go over to the foreign exchange markets and we're going to see what we can look at here i, I believe it or not folks i've fo focused on crude oil and these others today and i haven't done anything and something's this layout is totally wrong let me get a different one right here fxcl let's get this one here i think this one has more of the stuff in it that i want to see ah there we go all right let's I got this out of here. I have to put this into a, um, a window so that I can read it, folks. So I'll do it this way. Here's the dollar index right here. There's what I want to see. There's your dollar index. You see, it's actually doing nothing, believe it or not. With all that action that's going on in the stock market, this has done nothing. It's had a small rally, but just like this small rally, it didn't do anything. Look at this on a real. Th this is huge, folks. From your high down to your low, all it did was go up to the exact. 382, I believe. Oh, dear. Let me get this straight here. We need to look at this. That uh, There's your 382 right there. Okay. Now, we did have this small ABCD that stopped, but this is really big because that means the euro, which is right here, should be going up a little bit. And it is, but very little. Here's where we are. We've taken out the high of the previous week, but we didn't go anywhere at all. So what happened with our election is not being viewed by a lot of people in Europe, that's for sure. Okay, speaking of Europe, let's go with the British pound. Here's our British pound right here. This one's been bullish, and it's getting more bullish. Remember, we said that if we get above these levels here, we're going to go higher. We had this 382 pullback. That, well, let's just... Put it in again so you'll be able to see it without too much trouble. There's your low right here. There's your 382. We hit it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times before we started to go up. And that tells us that the British pound is going to go higher. If we look at this on the weekly basis, you'll see that we're getting ready to take out the highs here at 130. We're just about a point or so away. And there there's would be your ABCD leg right there. That's on a weekly now. That's where she's going to go, and that'll take us up to this level right here, which is this where if you want to short the British pound, this is going to be the place to do it. We'll look at this closely right here. You had this one, 
going to this level right here. You got one right behind it coming in right here. That's going to take you up to almost to that level also. And if you drew the pattern in, you'll see there's your X, A, B, C, D, and that would be a butterfly pattern coming in here at the Gartley exactly at 134.10. There it is right there. And that means that's five points from where we are right now. So it certainly looks, let's just blow it up so you can see it real easy. Clean that out a bit. It certainly looks that we could make that without very much trouble at all because what does that take you to? That's even, the, the, remember that number is way up here, 134. That means it's going to get up there. So be really cognizant of what happens up here on this long-term weekly on the British pound. This Look where, back here when it's 103, folks. Nobody wanted it. And now look where it is. Everybody wants it. That's the way things are. When you're trading foreign currency or pork belly, we don't have pork bellies anymore, but cattle or whatever. And by the way, someone asked me to take a look at the hogs because they thought the hogs were going to be bottoming in here. So the hogs start with a Q, and we'll get over here and take a look. Well, they've bottomed. They certainly have. This is an hourly chart, and there is the bottom coming in. This happened on the 11th, so it's already uh, come. Oh, that was a nice A, B, C, D on the bottom there. Yep, that's, uh, this is the one, this was, missed this one on the uh, day that we were having our live trading because it gapped up and never gave us a chance. We were looking at this ABCD on the downside, almost exactly at the 1618, but no pullback to speak of. I mean, there was nothing there that would even uh, resemble anything uh, like that. Okay, I've covered the currencies. Let's make sure I didn't miss anything here. We want to look at the Australian dollar. That should also be showing some weakness, and there it is right now. Let's get it up here. This is a daily chart. Okay, now we didn't. We stopped at the 382. We didn't get down to our 50% level that we thought. There's the 382 right here, and then the market's had a pretty good run. The only thing I can see that's there would be this potential ABCD, which is pretty much uh, what's been going on. So that should still go a little bit higher up here at uh, – well, it came pretty close to 168. It got to 168. So there might be a little bit of a pullback now here uh, in the Australian dollar. But again, it's not as clear as you'd like to see because you you don't know which of these two you should do. Because if this is the small, it has to be a part of the ABCD. The reason why, boys and girls, it, it's part of an ABCD because it's part of this ABCD. So you cannot... You cannot not use that because that was a really strong pullback, and it did exactly like the other one did. See how that one? They're exactly, almost exactly the same. That's why you have to use that. So when you have repetition that is both in price and time, you must use it. You don't have to, but to do it right, you have to. So you have to use that in the uh, – calculations that you're that you're working on here okay all right now we're going to look at the canadian dollar and this is all part of my good old data problem that i've fixed in most of them but not the canadian one second here and we are going to refresh this puppy and there we go this is still on a downtrend we've got lower tops so you're still in a uh, downtrend lower bottoms that means you're in a downtrend so had a pretty good chance to sell it today. Let's see if it got to, that is a 135 for sure because there's your one pattern comes in exactly at 618 right there. And if you go back and look at the three right here, there's 135 right here comes in exactly at or very, very close to the 786 comes within uh, 10 pips. So that is definitely what you're looking at. If we look at this on a smaller time frame, I bet you there's a nice ABCD hiding in the woods and there it is we have to upgrade it just a second here refresh today and there's your abcd that came in today just blow it up so you'll be able to see it there's your a b leg cd leg and there it is right there so that lined up uh, relatively good i think we are about ready for another break here in 46 seconds i'll take a little time to tell you that on friday we are going to have stan harley as our guest and on uh, tomorrow will be norm winsky and hopefully on thursday we're going to have mike moore of uh, more analytics okay so that's what we're going to be watching so stay tuned with us folks and we'll wrap up the show and uh, give you my two cents worth and 
Like I say, if you overpay, no change. Money back guarantee, but only on the two cents. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted a chart here of the Dow Jones. And folks, we are eight weeks up in this run right here. I would not buy this breakout if you want to buy it. I think you could probably make a lot of money but not the way I look at it so I'm looking at this pattern like this one right here and I am certainly wrong I'm you know waiting to see what happens next but I don't buy big breakouts on this breakout right here is different and we've got a call hold on just a second let's see who it is my charts not coming through I did it twice shut the front door and raise the rent just a minute here oh just a minute folks I'm not even gonna be able to get this darn thing up in time to show you what I was looking at okay so I was looking at this particular move like this so I couldn't buy that one I'm certainly not gonna buy that one so that's my two cents worth and I do miss some as you all know but uh, on the show oh, oh, on the shorter term time frame it's uh, you'll you'll be alright so that's what I'm just giving you my two cents worth uh, what it's watch I was looking at it on a just short-term basis today and we're gonna make some type of we're gonna make a new eye today that's for sure right on the close uh, I don't know if this one on the um, 
uh, NASDAQ is going to make the low like I thought, but certainly looks like we're going to make one on the high. But this is an unusual move to see a move of uh, 700 points in the Dow uh, in one day, but that does happen, and sometimes they keep going. You can see the gold keeps going higher and higher, and they're going to have to decide what they're going to hold, either gold or stocks, but they're different fellas, so you got to remember that, okay? That's what we're watching here today, folks. So tomorrow, uh, Norm Winsky will be our guest at the usual time, at the 1.30 time frame. And then on Thursday, I will try to have Mike Moore. On Friday, we're going to have uh, Stan Harley as our guest. So we'll see you on a higher opening tomorrow. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.